Did you know that from a tower built to withstand hurricanes to the second tallest building on Earth, we'll explore the largest skyscrapers currently being constructed in 2023? Let's begin with 17. For Frankfurt In Frankfurt, a city known for its tall buildings, there are currently 18 skyscrapers that reach over 150 meters high. In all of Germany, there's only one other skyscraper, the Post Tower in Bonn. But in Frankfurt's skyscraper area, called Manhattan, they're not finished building tall buildings yet. There are four new towers being built with a common base. These new skyscrapers will vary in height, and the tallest one will be 233 meters high. It won't be the tallest in the city, but it will be the third tallest. One of these towers will be for offices, and the shortest one will also be for offices. The other two towers will have a fancy Kimpton hotel and apartments, and 30% of them will be for social housing. It's an impressive project, but there are even taller skyscrapers being built elsewhere. 16. Waldorf Astoria Hotel The Waldorf Astoria Hotel is an extraordinary project set to become Florida's first very tall building, reaching a height of 317 meters. What makes it even more remarkable is that Florida often faces extremely powerful hurricane winds. Building skyscrapers in this area has been a concern due to the risk of collapse. However, the Waldorf Astoria will use a special technology called a tuned mass damper to prevent it from swaying in the strong winds. This technology functions like a giant gyroscope, reducing the mechanical vibrations of the building. It has been successfully used to stabilize other skyscrapers, including the John Hancock Tower in Boston. Back in the 1990s, the upper floors of the John Hancock Tower swayed so much that people experienced motion sickness. The tuned mass damper solved this issue. But the challenge for the Waldorf Astoria is that Florida's hurricanes are even more powerful than Boston's winds, and the Waldorf Astoria will be 80 meters taller than the John Hancock Tower. In simpler terms, the tuned mass damper will have to work much harder to keep the building safe. 15. Azrieli Spiral Tower In Tel Aviv, on the opposite side of the world, a stunning skyscraper is under construction. The design of this building is intended to make it appear as though it's a massive scroll gently unfurling in a spiral shape. At the very top of the tower, there will be a public area used for various events and entertainment. On a clear day, visitors will have the incredible opportunity to see all the way to Jerusalem, which is more than 50 kilometers away, where the holy city stands. 14. Azabudai Hills Azabudai Hills, located in central Tokyo, is one of the ongoing projects set to be completed this year. Construction on this residential tower began in 2019, and it's on schedule to open by the end of 2023. Japan is susceptible to earthquakes, which, similar to the powerful winds in Florida, makes it more challenging to construct very tall buildings. However, Japanese architects have devised numerous solutions to make their skyscrapers some of the strongest in the world. These solutions include using shock absorbers to support the foundations, tuned mass dampers to stabilize the tops, and protective steel mesh to strengthen the exteriors. But among all the earthquake-resistant towers, Azabudai Hill stands out as the most ambitious one. It's poised to become the tallest building in the entire country. This massive structure will even have a storage space stocked with emergency supplies like food and power cells. This will be useful in case a major earthquake occurs and residents need a safe place to take shelter. 13. The One The One is a very tall skyscraper that's on its way to becoming the tallest building in Canada. Currently, the record holder is First Canadian Place, which has held that title since 1976. If everything goes according to plan, the one will surpass First Canadian Place by precisely 40 meters. This project has been in progress for a while. It was first announced in 2015, and two years later, over 3,000 people had signed up for apartments, even though construction hadn't started yet. They began laying the first bricks in August 2017, but in 2019, they faced a setback when the city of Toronto ordered an immediate halt to construction. Normally, skyscrapers get permission in stages, like starting with excavation, then foundations, and so on. The developers of the one started building the tower's foundations before the next permit was approved, leading to the government's block. The construction site remained untouched for about six months while the city sorted out the next stage of permissions. 
eventually, everything got resolved and construction resumed. The plan is to finish this enormous building by 2024. Once completed, it will have hundreds of apartments, a hotel, stores, and even an outdoor pool. 12. Oxley Tower 1 This skyscraper in Kuala Lumpur will be as tall as the Toronto one, both standing at 338 meters. They will both be completed in the year 2024. This building will be located near the famous Petronas Towers, which are the tallest pair of twin skyscrapers globally. Oxley Tower 1 is part of a group of three skyscrapers known as Oxley Towers. It will be a luxurious place, featuring five-star hotel rooms and lavish offices for wealthy and affluent individuals in Malaysia. 11. Uptown Tower In Dubai, there's a project called the Uptown Tower that's getting taller and almost finished. In January 2022, they completed pouring the last batch of concrete for the building, and they added a steel crown on top making it 340 meters tall. Although the inside of the tower isn't fully ready yet, it's expected to open in the coming months. Many businesses like Hisense, HIQ Vision, and the Gymological Institute of America have already reserved office spaces in the Uptown Tower. 10. Central Bank of Turkey Turkey's central bank used to have its main office in the city of Ankara. However, a few years ago, they decided to move their headquarters to Istanbul. To celebrate this move, they are building the tallest building in Turkey, which will reach an impressive height of 352 meters. In fact, it will become the fourth tallest building in all of Europe, the tallest one outside of Russia. The old headquarters of the central bank used to appear on Turkish banknotes, first in the 1940s, then again in the 50s and 60s, and finally in the 1990s. When this new tower is finished, there's a good chance it might be featured on Turkish banknotes in the future. 9. Seal Tower 365 meters We're back in Dubai for the Seal Tower. The Seal Tower, named after the French word for sky, is quite special among the buildings in this list. It's unique because it won't have any offices or apartments. The whole building will be a hotel. This will make it the tallest hotel-only building in the world. Currently, the top five tallest hotel-only buildings are in Dubai. The Gavora Hotel, the JDOE Marriott Marcus Hotel, the Rose Tower, the Burj Al Arab, and the Jumara Emirates Towers. The Seal Tower will surpass all of them. At the moment, the Seal Tower is more than halfway completed, with over 50 floors already built out of a total of 82. The design of the building is Japanese in style and was created by architect Yahya Jet. He mentioned that the curved shapes of the glass and metal building are meant to softly reflect the setting sun. 8. Nada 3 Tower A In the capital city of Cambodia, Phnom Penh, there's a big project going on worth $3.5 billion. It consists of three connected towers that will have hotels and casinos. Nada Corp Limited, a company from Hong Kong specializing in hotels, gaming and leisure, is managing this project. They named it Naga 3, inspired by a mythical dragon with seven heads, which is typically linked to gold and good luck. This hotel casino aims to convey a message of prosperity and good fortune. 7. Tour F, 385 meters, this next skyscraper is being. The Tour F is a building in the Ivory Coast, designed to look like a traditional African mask. It will mainly be used for offices. The idea for this tower was first thought of in 1970 as part of a big plan to make the city of Abidjan more modern. The city's population was growing really fast. It tripled between 1965 and 1975, then tripled again by the year 2000. But in the 1980s, the Ivory Coast had some economic troubles, so they had to stop working on the Tour F project. However, in 2021, they decided to go back to the plans and now they're officially building it. When it's all done in 2024, it will be the tallest building in West Africa. 6. Iconic Tower The Iconic Tower in Egypt is currently under construction and is set to be 394 meters tall. If the Tour F had been built just a few years earlier, it would have been the tallest building in all of Africa. However, the Iconic Tower will surpass it by 9 meters. This tower will be located in Egypt's new administrative capital, which is close to Cairo and will become the country's new capital when it's finished in 2030. The entire project is quite impressive, not just because of the iconic tower. 
the city is expected to cost more than $50 billion. Officially, it's intended to reduce the congestion in Cairo, one of the world's most crowded cities. But some people have called it a project primarily for the wealthy elites of the country. The iconic tower will mostly be used for offices and is designed in the shape of ancient Egyptian obelisks. It's very close to completion and could potentially be finished in the next couple of months. 5. Chief Morgan Chase Building the J.P. Morgan Chase Building is a very tall skyscraper, measuring 423 meters in height. Chief Morgan Chase is a large financial services company headquartered in New York City. In 2021, they made the decision to tear down their old headquarters, the Union Carbide Building, and begin work on a new, modern replacement. Some people were not happy about the demolition of the Union Carbide Building. When it was originally built in the 1960s, it was mainly designed by a woman named Natalie de Bloy. Back then, there were not many female architects and the Union Carbide was the tallest building ever designed by a woman. It held this record for 50 years, making it a historically significant building, especially for aspiring female architects. It was only surpassed in 2009 when the Aqua Tower was designed by Jean Gang. Once their brand new headquarters is finished, it will be a remarkable technological marvel. They will use artificial intelligence to efficiently manage energy usage. The windows will have automatic solar shades, and the entire building will be powered by renewable energy from a nearby hydroelectric plant. While it won't be the tallest building in New York at 423 meters, it will certainly be one of the most advanced. While waiting for the new building to open, Jeep Morgan Chase is using another skyscraper, 383 Madison Avenue as a temporary office. 4. Signature Tower The Signature Tower is a part of a big project called One Bangkok. This project includes five office towers, three luxury hotels, and many shops and places to go. They are planning to have around 60,000 people working there and up to 200,000 visitors every day. Many of these visitors will probably want to go up the Signature Tower, which will be the tallest building in Thailand. If you've been enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now, let's continue. 3. China's Ongoing Skyscraper Boom In China, there's not just one, but around 10 to 20 of these massive skyscrapers being built. However, it's tricky to find reliable information about their construction status and video proof that these projects are really happening. So in this video, we'll only talk about the most promising skyscrapers under construction in China. One of these is the Tower C in Shenzhen, which will be 394 meters tall. It's designed by Zaha Hadid and has one of the most interesting designs. Official construction began in 2020, and they plan to finish it in just seven years. Then there's the Hexi Yuzui Tower, which will reach an impressive height of 498 meters. This building will be the centerpiece of a new business district by the water. The architects say the design on the tower's exterior is inspired by the patterns in the nearby Yangtze River. It's not the only skyscraper near the 500-meter building limit currently enforced in China. In the southern city of Zhangshan, the Fuyuan Zhangshan 108 IFC Tower will also top out at 498 meters. Meanwhile, in Zhongnan, architects are aiming for a height of 499 meters, getting really close to the height limit. The Suzhou Zhanin Center was originally planned to be a staggering 729 meters tall, but when the Chinese government changed the laws, they adjusted the plans to create this smaller version instead. And as if that's not enough, another 499 meter tower is going up in Nanjing. The Greenland Jinmao International Financial Center will be the tallest building in the city, just a tiny bit taller than the Hexi Yuzui Tower, which is only a few miles away. Two. The Line The Line is likely the most unique project on this list. This ambitious project in Saudi Arabia will reach a height of 500 meters. But unlike the other skyscrapers we've talked about, it won't be tall and thin. Instead, the line will stretch across 170 kilometers of desert. It's like having several thousand skyscrapers placed side by side, making all the other projects we've mentioned seem tiny in comparison. None of them even come close to the immense size of the line. 1. Merdeka Tower The future of the line, a massive project, is uncertain, but our top pick, number one, will soon open after years of construction. We're talking about the Merdeka 118, which stands at a height of 679 meters. 
This impressive tower is located in Kuala Lumpur and is the second tallest building in the world. It's expected to open in June this year, but some people couldn't wait. A few weeks ago, a pair of influencers sneaked into the tower and climbed to the very top. They captured some amazing footage of the city from up there, but they were caught and are now being investigated for trespassing. The word Merdeka means independence, and the tower was designed to resemble the famous pose of Tunku Abdul Rahman, the leader who declared Malaysian independence in 1957. There can't be many people in the world who've had a skyscraper designed to look like them. The building will primarily be used for offices, but it will also include a hotel, a mall, and a couple of observation decks at the very top. When the Merdeka finally opens its doors, tourists will be able to enjoy breathtaking views from the sky deck. Which one of these skyscrapers are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in hearing about some incredible skyscrapers that were never built, you can check out our next video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.